It's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. Today I have a flip through for you of the Furniture Doctor Journal by George Groats. Um, this is a vintage book junk journal that I just completed. Um, it has three signatures and the cover is the original cover. It had this lovely little embossed uh, rocking chair on it, which is the whole reason that I was compelled to make this furniture journal. Um, the original cover was like a beige color, so I used alcohol ink and I made it more like um, a wood stained cover with like those kind of blotches that you can get when you put down like a, a wet cup of water on, um, you know, a piece of teak furniture or something of that of that nature. I left the spine um, so that you can still see the name of the book and on the back um, I did the same treatment as the front. The closure is through two eyelet holes on each cover. Um, at the front I've used a little um, post like door handle type post and this is an, a hand dyed elastic and on the back is actually a handmade wood button. Um, and I've used this like very vintage 1920s ish brass um, book plate with a, a removable or usable um, kind of distressed um, book label. And then I've added some vintage uh, lace at the bottom. So I think that's everything I have to say about the cover. So let's open it on up and take a look inside. There we go. So when you open up the book, um, you will see the original, um, these were the original book papers, the um, bookend papers basically. So on this side and on this side, you have the original bookend papers and they're about essentially um, furniture styles and like they give little bits of information about like the periods of different furniture like um, colonial shaker American fancy Victorian French um, the Louis the years that Louis furniture were made provincial empire um, and at the front it talks about English and the different kinds Tudor Elizabethan Jacobian William and Mary Queen Anne Georgian Chippendale Adam so it, it tells you basically all of the different time frames up to to the Victorian times. Um, so then I've added some uh, vintage lace here and this book has been bound um, with a new spine or like inner spine and fabric for strength. Um, so the first page, um, this lady is just this, she's really funny and I found her in um, like a very early like 19 or late 1940s um, magazine I believe in McCall's magazine and um, it was a Hoover ad and I just loved her so much and I thought she just belonged on this chairs page so you will see throughout this journal um, these pages that have the title and they represent a chapter in a large um, old Ontario furniture like antique furniture book that I used to uh, in some of the signatures in this book um, and then there is some um, Muslim webbing up here and this is from the back page you'll see a rusty paper clip there and that rusty paper clip um, is holding on to this journal card and it's about how to tell furniture periods by the hardware and then the page behind it is a book page from um, the, the book I just told you about and I just extended her little her little feet around the, the page because I thought that was kind of funny <laughs> um, she looks like she needs to put her feet up on a big chair right <laughs> So then we have this wood grained um, paper and then this is another of the um, title pages. So this one is clocks and I've um, added this. This is actually mm -hmm. like the kind mm -hmm. of sticker that you buy for making clocks for clock faces because that's actually one of my my former hobbies in my life was clock making. So I used one of the panel clock stickers. Um, and then there's a little teacup sticker up here and th this whole journal is very grungy and um, Lots of browns and uh, golds and yellows. Um, then on this side we have this is vintage 1950s book page paper with um, a grandfather clock image and then you open it up and there's some nice florals and it talks about um, this clock here the provincial craftsman who made this clock case preserved the basic line a former ch formal Chippendale design etc so it just talks about the clock it's a little snippet from the book um, 
And then on this page, I made kind of a fun pocket. So this is a book page pocket that's been coffee dyed. And it's on top of um, a page with like dollhouse, um, vintage dollhouses. It was from a vintage book about uh, toys and dollhouses. And then I've just added this um, book page in size. inside. It says honest materials, wood, leather, slate, iron, steel, etc. Um, and it just basically is about the materials that are used in furniture. So then this little pocket we've got a, a little creamer here from some like stickers vintage stickers that I have and this is like a Rita Donnelly type flip um, so there's writing space in here on vintage paper and then there is an embroidery thread that is um, sewn through the page and it just wraps around this little button like toggle style the button is sewn on and then this is the, um, again, the vintage dollhouse page. This is coffee dyed lace paper. Uh, this is a pocket made from this sideboard um, image. And again, one of those pages. And then I made a journaling card out of this um, bookcase. Uh, this is a picture from the vintage old Ontario furniture book. And I inked it up to bring the browns back into the cabinet and uh, thought it would be a fun little tuck there. This is um, a book page from the Ontario Furniture Book, the sideboards. And then this is um, a little cutout from the original book that I used from The Furniture Doctor. There were, I believe, 87 original illustrations that George Grotz did for this book, and I have used many of them in this book. So this is his super duper polish. And then this is um, actually like a, a large postcard um, from... A book called The Wild Swans that's been um, illustrated on like about a hundred postcards and so I used this one because I felt like it really fit the theme with all the furniture and it's like the decor of an inside of like a large house. Um, I'll just hold it like that for a moment so you can see it because I know the glare can be a little harsh sometimes. So this is the chest of drawers page and we have a little sugar dish there. And then the back side um, talks about Sheraton and Heppelwhite traditions in furniture. I just left that book page there. This is another of the original illustrations from the book. Um, and it's a Chippendale table. And it talks about, I just, I put the Chippendale label there so that you would know when that um, era was. And another original illustration sofas and settees and a little teacup and then this is a flip out and it is another illustration from the book why buy clamps these tricks work as well so if you don't have wood clamps and you're doing some work and then this is the front book plate of the the furniture of old ontario book which is this book that i've used to populate throughout this is a really neat image and um, explanation of a wagon seat um, it's a chair made double sized and then we have a couple of little list papers here that have been tea dyed this is a book page um, I've used a few of these throughout it's from like um, sort of a bohemian um, decor book called nomad and then the other two tea dyed pages. And then I've sewn some lace here onto the other side of that original book page. And I've left it long as a tip out. Um, <clears throat> this, these are the owners of like an original old Ontario furniture company. Then I made a pocket here out of um, little circles that I've cut from um, basically word cards and then there's some music back here and I've made a journaling card um, these are the chapters of the old Ontario furniture book and I've added a little teacup there this is all on handmade paper so that just tucks on in here and then this is just some nice old paper um, and I have added another of the original illustrations onto um, some vintage upholstery fabric and it's in those colors of like yellow green brown and beige that we all kind of go back in time to think about when we think of old furniture so I've just added that there and then you see the stitching on the back I've added another original illustration um, this is a rusty paper clip holding a journal card on an original book page um, and that's the back and these are like um, 1863 sort of like sofa settees 
that just clips on here. Then on this side we have um, a dresser from the old Ontario book and I've cut little slots here to use this as um, pockets to hold these little images. So this woman was the, the one of the owners or the wife of the owner of an original old Ontario furniture company. And then this is another original image from the book that says the cabinet and chair factory. Um, this was her, their factory. I forget the name. It is there. Um, like Colin Bustal, I think is the name. Um, so that just tucks in here. Oops. And then at the very top, I've left that a pocket as well. You'll see some music paper back there too. And it's just a little tag with some lace and the threads left long of just the side image of a dresser. And then the other side of that um, little postcard and another original illustration from George Groats of Paste Wax. These are more of his original illustrations and I've just added some kind of scrappy fun, um, actually very old <laughs> paper there. These are all very old papers from like a 1930s book. Um, so this is a pocket, one of his original illustrations and it says Groats's Circus of Silly Claims. Please don't feed the furniture, wild table. And so it's like, it shows a table inside like a circus car. And then um, this is another of his large illustrations that I've backed on nice old paper and it says how to tell kind of finish by age of the piece so it talks about shellacs lacquers varnishes and linseed oil and when those were the trends uh, throughout history so if you're into trying to learn more about antique furniture I mean it was a really informative book um, this is coffee dyed lace paper and then this is the front cover of the Furniture Doctor book and it's a little flip out here with some nice gold bee washi tape and um, a little dollhouse interior and another dollhouse interior. Then this is actually a large belly band made from um, a book page image of a bunch of vintage mail. And you pull it out and there's old paper behind it and there's this large journaling card of um, furniture, uh, just illustrated furniture from the old Ontario book and a little teacup on the back. And then this page has just, I left the original seam here because I folded this page a little differently to account for the length of this book. And I just really love how they look. They just really make me feel like these are like furniture seams. Like it's just, I don't know, it has a nice aesthetic to it with the, with the aging. And I just think it's really fun. And then um, there's a teacup down here and some more wood grain paper. This is a pocket that's made from the book cover of the original book, the, the paper um, book cover. And like the, what is the word I'm looking for? The sleeve, like the paper sleeve. And so this has like the rocking chair from the front and some other furniture. This is a little piece of cork and some paper lace. And then inside and behind it, this is a stamped piece of paper that I stamped with this lace design. And it is a side tuck pocket um, that has a little journaling card in it that says, um, get things in their right proportion. It is to be years of never ending turning of the rooms, shaking rugs, lifting carpets, wearing yourself out. So it's actually, it goes along with this lady and it's about the Hoover vacuum um, and how Hoover would try to sell you their vacuums to convince you that it would make your life easier. <laughs> and then in the pocket below is this journal card that I made that has all of these different chairs and some um, stitching and fabric at the top and that just tucks down there and then just um, some super sized uh, text on some lace background and then this is a little pull out um, this is the original book plate of the furniture doctor um, book so this journal the, the cover it's made in and I stamped this it matches the last one I just showed you and then I added some um, scraps of cork um, around the edges and stitched the whole thing this is all made from a folder and then on the inside there's journaling space here it says the furniture doctor because there were a lot of sort of title pages that I was able to use and I included the whole preface from this book inside here because it's really funny and a lot of fun to read so it says warning preface ahead how to use this book now there is a heading to make women weep and strong men cry how to use this book indeed but it's 
super funny. I won't read the whole thing to you, but it's really nice. And I did a little house stamp there just for fun. So that is the rest of, and I've, I've hinged it. So I've strengthened the, the, you know, the spine between the two pages. And you could also journal here. So this is George Grotz's preface from April 2nd, 1961. Um, so that just sits inside to be pulled out or what have you. And then on this side, we have a pocket and it says, never use these, believe no others. A glue joint is always 10 times better. So he's talking about these like L brackets and nails and screws <clears throat> instead of using gluing, which is much stronger. And this pocket is actually um, a folded up original book page for the looking glasses um, chapter of the book. And inside it is this large tag that I made from an, <clears throat> excuse me, an image of a vintage textile of this like um, this bird in I think it's cross stitch. Um, and on this side, we have a lace pocket with a looking glass or a mirror behind it. And then this is, um, this is a, a journal card that I made, um, that talks about different kinds of mirrors and has this reflective sticker and some stuff like that. Talks about periscopes. And then this is a book page from a children's book called like The Elegant Bear, I think. And it was so just right for this book in colors and its furniture kind of aesthetic um, that I just thought it would be a really nice uh, pull out for here. And I've added a little bit of fabric over here. And on the inside, I just left it because it's so fun. Like here we have like a bear's paw with like a tree marionette puppet and then just these beautifully dressed kind of bears. And I just thought it was really fun. And then this is, um, is another coffee dyed lace paper. And then we have a belly band that's been made from this table that was from the old Ontario book and has a piece of lace across it. And then it is the tables paper from the book. Um, and this is a journal card that I made from George Grotz's original illustration. And it's different types of knobs that you see on furniture throughout the eras. So that just tucks up here and goes into the belly band. And on this side, um, this is some birch bark that I forged myself um, and I've added from the old Ontario book, there were descriptions like a glossary of all the different types of wood. So I've added the description of birch here. So it talks about birch and its relationship to furniture. Then this is a book page from the Nomad book with just this dark kind of scene of like furniture and a really nice kind of room. And on the back, some scissors and string. And the next page, I, I use some Amity Bloom digitals in this book. So these vintage hankies, I put the vintage hanky behind the a cutout picture from the old Ontario book of this cab, this cupboard, and it opens up, and you can write on the back sides of these um, these cupboard doors. And this is the original page from the book. So I just hit it back there. This is an Amity Bloom Digital and I thought it just really went really well. I think it's from like her Flea Market Finds set. So it just really, I thought, went nicely with this wood grain and added a little bit of pops of color to the journal. Then this is the Desks and Secretaries chapter of the original book. And on this side, I've made a pocket from the illustration um, from the old Ontario book of all these different types of furniture. And you'll see here, there's like a secretary cabinet and some of them... Um, Amity Bloom's Vintage Hanky. Um, and then this is just a little journal card that I made from, this is like um, an advertisement from this manufacturer of wrought iron hinges from the old Ontario book. And then just some old cream colored paper with a teacup. And the other side of that Nomad, um, or actually, no, this is another um, page from the Nomad book. And it says, what bamboo can make scaffolding, tea whisks, um, ladles and spoons. And it just talks about bamboo as a material. And then on this page, we have a rusty paper clip holding on to this old paper. And this is actually a 1950s original photograph of um, some sort of like China uh, Royal Dalton dolls in a very ornate old um, China cabinet. So I thought that would be a nice little piece of original ephemera to include in this journal. 
And then on this page with this Amity Bloom um, vintage napkin, um, we have this lace belly band. And then this is a little journal card that I made from a children's book illustration. And I took, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe, which is what this illustration's from. And I just added it there and antiqued it basically. And that just pops in there. And there's the other side of that napkin and some more of the wood grain paper. Then this is another piece of Amity Bloom's uh, flea market mm -hmm. um, print. And then I have stitched this vintage um, upholstery fabric, the same one that we saw a little bit earlier in that little swatch. Um, I've made a pocket from it here. So it's stitched to both sides of the paper. And inside we have this journal tag of this grandfather clock. Um, and I've stitched some nice bright yellow fabric to the top. It's also upholstery fabric and that just tucks right in there so again it's just a nice little pop of color then this side we have another pocket made from these circle cuts of all these different kind of furniture looking um, tab cards and in the background we just have like um, sort of a furniture scene from the nomad book and this is a journal card that I made from the old Ontario um, book and I added some teacup stickers here and I shaded in the wallpaper in the background to make the piece of furniture kind of pop out of the card and so that is just for journaling on this side we have, um, this is a large journal card that I made with like vintage uh, sewing pattern paper and collage underneath. And then I added this um, cabinet here from the original book and it is a, a flip up. So I'll just move the journal down and show you. You can see all the visible stitching here. I thought it was fun to just leave that. And so there's a tab to make it flip up. And then just an image here of kind of a domestic kitchen scene from the Nomad book. This page is um, actually from a gardening, a vintage gardening book about building wood garden fencing. And I've added some stitched on lace with gold edge here. And this is a fun little, um, just a little pasted on snip here. And it says, what makes cork float? And so it, that, that is from a book about like how different things kind of work. And I've backed the whole thing in cork and stitched it down. Um, this is coffee dyed lace paper. And then this page is a flip out. It's from The Elegant Bear, that wonderful children's book. And it's all of these like very aristocratic looking bears having a celebration, like maybe um, a wedding or an anniversary. And then on this side of the tip out, so this flips in and this says gluing without pressure is a waste of time. And there's some stitching here and some old text on a digital and then this is half of a very fancy couch that I've used as a pocket from the original book. And um, inside is the information about it. So this is a journal card and this is some um, like large print encyclopedia. And it's about um, sofas after 1850 and how they were designed. So it applies to this couch and it just pops up here. This is just a fun digital page. I can't recall where I got it from, but I really liked it. And that's the back side. And then this is um, a pasted on um, the bird's eye view of, of these chairs. And that's actually a pocket. So you can put something in there. Um, and then I've I've added this um, large journal card. And it has this, um, this is a fabric um, flower and a nice bird and a label. And it's all been um, like rusted and like there's copper and patina, actual copper patina on this and the back is cabbage dyed and then you see some stitches here um, and this is a little tuck spot um, on the chests page so this little chest you can actually tuck something into and then this is more of the Amity Bloom um, vintage like hankies and I've stitched some vintage fabric up here this is the miscellaneous furniture chapter of the book and I've added a lace tab and then a little diagram of some measurements. And on this side, we have a lace belly band on top of um, some collaging and some original images from the book of old furniture. And this is from the paper cameo. She does really beautiful work um, on Etsy. And then this is again, Amity Bloom on Etsy. And um, I made a large journaling 
card out of this and added the original um, Louis chairs from the book. Then this is like an Amish quilt sort of uh, paper, a little teacup there. This is the washstands chapter page of the book and it has a tip out here um, and this is about um, leaf splitting, leaf warping, um, easy ways to remove warps in wood. And then this was a book page from another book that was about homes and it's just in angles and crooks and it has this nice painting, porches and doorways. And then this is coffee dyed lace paper. And this side we have a bed bedsteads, so that's the uh, chapter, and I've used the bed as a pocket to hold this large journal card that is um, sort of a construction image actually for building a garden bed. It's from a vintage garden book, but I really liked the, the wood illustration for this journal. And this is Amity Bloom um, and some of the original... Um, illustrations from the old Ontario book and then just this ochre yellow nice page it has a really great texture and then this is a page from the biography um, of the Edwardian lady e Edith Holden's biography and just has some nice kind of images that blend in kind of just beautiful illustration and furniture and this is from like an 1820s music book and I had to use it because it's called The Old Armchair um, by Eliza Cook and Henry Russell. And I've just left the whole piece of paper natural. So you also get these songs, My Mustache and um, Love Not. But I just had to include it because it's The Old Armchair. <laughs> And then this is also from the Edith Holden book. It's this nice painting of a chestnut, which I thought, you know, it all fits into the furniture theme. And you can never go wrong with some Edith Holden illustration. Um, ironically, with moths that can actually be pretty important to the whole household and avoiding having um, moths in your home. Um, then another of those ochre yellow pages and then this is um, just a piece of tissue that's been pasted down on top of some of the vintage illustrations of a bed and I've added a little tea set here for just some interest on the page and then this page is original illustrations by George Grotz and they're kind of humorous like a poor man's refinishing kit so all the things that you could use inexpensively for less than four dollars you're in business uh, got a soft hammer in your house and like basically it talks about knocking furniture apart without damaging or bruising the wood and then this is a coffee dyed lace page and this is um, an illustration page from the vintage dollhouse book and more of the vintage dollhouses and this is just an outlined illustration of the antique furniture from the book and a little teacup here another little teacup up here more of the Amish quilt page um, and then this is um, a rusty paper clip holding on to this journal card and um, some collaging the original furniture a little bit of paper cameo and this is the original um, sleeve spine I just pasted it down there because it was fun I thought about making a bookmark but I thought I want to put it right in the book and then um, this is a spoon cabinet and it's um, a little journal card and this is um, illustrations on making trellis from the vintage garden book out of like wood uh, branches. This is an Amity Bloom um, flea market find um, digital. And this is a little original illustration of a garden box uh, from the same vintage garden book. And this is another one. And then in the back, we have just this large journaling card from the old Ontario book about Thomas Fuller and Co manufacturers of furniture. And it's just a large journal card. So that is the furniture doctor. And I am really like happy with how it turned out. I really like this journal and I think whomever picks it up will really love it. I think it would be perfect for an antique collector or, um, you know, an upholstery person or like just anyone who appreciates furniture, architecture, um, or just a really homey feeling book. And, and it's also got a lot of educational material in it. That's one thing that I like to try to include in my journals when I can is just little snippets of info that you might not otherwise have known because I'm very fascinated by 
I'm just, you know, learning all the time about things I don't know. That's why I'm so into antiquing and uh, thrifting and those kind of things, because there's a lot of education in, in old things, right? So thank you so much for joining me. This journal, if you're seeing this video, will be posted in my Etsy shop, which is Studio Lou on Etsy. I will link everything below in the description box, and I would really appreciate if you subscribe. That helps me to just create more content and um, helps us to expand our community a little bit. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much again. Bye for now. Bye.